So I would love for you to give a warm round of um, applause for Rudy Grovenati from Seafood Evening. All right, thank you. So this is the favorite Monday of every month for me. So happy Mo Mondays, everyone. Yeah, I was in Moscow when, you know, Yeltsin and the White House was being bombed. And I've been, you know, in some really dicey situations when a person should be genuinely frightened, wasn't scared away. Now I'm terrified. I'm terrified. Will I take care of them? Will I get it? Woo! My goodness. And so here are the bees, and I'm taking care of them, and everything's kind of going okay. And I learned more about them, and I found out how wonderful they are and how gentle they are. So a few years ago, I moved to Philadelphia, and uh, I moved into a high rise in Center City at 1500 Locust in a building that was cleverly named 1500 Locust. <laughs> and uh, I was on the 40th floor, and it was a great building. It's really awesome. And after a couple months, I only knew one neighbor. And, and they were a Brit couple. They were really cool. But I started thinking to myself, oh my gosh, I don't even know anybody that's not in this country, much less in Philadelphia, that lives in my building. But I knew that she was crying as much as I was. But she gathered herself up, and she said, how long will he live? Dr. Spiro said, it'll be unlikely you have a year. It's devastating. She was shattered. I gathered myself up and I said, how will he die? I wish I hadn't asked the question. He will die of respiratory failure or he will choke to death. It seemed inconceivable that we could bear this at home. He offered us a glass of water, a ride home, and we said, no, we'll be fine. We'll, we'll be okay. We can get ourselves home. As we drove home, we wondered how we might tell our two daughters, nine and five, Sarah and Jenny, about their brother. You see, I've been lonely in a dysfunctional marriage for over two decades. I've been lonely at the top of my game as a vice president in corporate America. I've even been lonely amongst my own family with more than a hundred blood relatives. But I realize in that moment that I had a choice. That I could wake up and decide in that moment that if I was able to recover from this state of fighting for my life, that I would never be lonely again. 